Welcome back. Now, Deborah Mundy and Mervyn Ryder love the movie Shrek. They also love each other. So the couple decided to get married, dressed as their favourite movie characters, in a wedding they will never forget. I wouldn't have changed it for the world. Most brides want to turn others green with envy. Yes, it was a fairy tale wedding. Fairy tale all the way. But when your family and friends lovingly call you Shrek and Fiona... When the kids were growing up, they sort of tagged us all around the neighbourhood as Shrek and Fiona. And then I saw her face. Then this is what your Cinderella moment looks like. Fiona. Shrek. I love you. Really? Really, really. I love you too. Yes, it's just like in the movie. Hey, Shrek kissed the princess. She turned into a beautiful ogre. Mervyn Ryder married his one true love, Deborah Munding, in a far, far away land. Well, okay, it's the backyard in Logan Lee, Queensland. Yeah, my father thought I was crazy. And when the actual ceremony had finished, he came up to me and said, job well done, you have pulled this off. Puss in Boots couldn't make it, but the gingerbread man, Prince Charming, Little Red Riding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf did. And everybody got into the spirit of it. It was so funny. Their family wedding photos could be straight out of a Hans Christian Andersen storybook. Their two sons, the knights in shining armour. Bizarre as hell, but then I thought about it a little bit and... Shrek and Fiona does suit my parents very well, so... Donkey didn't have evil Lord Farquhar to battle, but, like in the movie, he was by Shrek's side, given the job of best man. Was hoping this would be a happy ending. While the celebrant asked, will you take this woman as your wife, the question everyone really wanted an answer to was why dress like ogres from a swamp? I'm doing something a little bit crazy and quirky. That just makes it even more fun and spruces up our relationship. Unlike Princess Fiona, Deborah was no damsel in distress. She didn't believe in marriage and made Marvin wait 23 years. I definitely think it was time, my time to say yes to the poor man. <laughs> Anyone with footy war paint on tonight will appreciate it wasn't a quick transformation. A lot of hard work. Yeah, I started getting painted at about 5.30 in the morning. Now we've seen some wild and extravagant weddings on a current affair. Many so outrageous you'd think they were from the movies. But turns out real movie inspired nuptials aren't so rare. Funny thing is ask Deborah and Marvin what their favourite colour is and not green. Not green. No, definitely not green. At least they each knew what they were marrying. So is there an ogre in the relationship? Both. Yeah, we're both, both as bad as each other. <laughs> to love somebody the way I love you. That's fantastic. I think most people take weddings way too seriously.